And they're at the post. They're off in the Castle and Key Bourbon Stakes. There goes Warhart out for the early lead. Reach for the Rose there in the center of the course. And Clock Tower up close in the opening strides. And now Clock Tower moves up, puts a head in front from Warhart in second position. Reach for the Rose is third. Golden Afternoon slides down toward the inside. Fourth, Fleming fifth. Cavallo Bay, Elaine off the rail sixth. Warlander seventh. Saves the ground down toward the inside. Baytown Baracus went wide in eighth. Chicoso is ninth. Papiamento is tenth. Minaret Station is eleventh. And Siesta Key is last of the twelve as they swing off the First turn, opening quarter, 22.29 seconds. Clock Tower, the leader. Clock Tower against the rail. Leads at a length. Golden Afternoon goes second by a length. Reach for the Rose is third ahead. And then Cavallo Bay between horses and Warhart back toward the inside. Now Warhart moves back up into the third position. Still two lengths off the lead, though. Fleming is out toward the center of the course and is racing six lengths from the front. And there's Warlander to the inside of Fleming, now trying to find some more running room against the rail. Then Papiamento between horses eighth. It was 47.02 seconds the time for the first half mile. Clock Tower leading golden afternoon around the far turn. And then Warhart, who's back toward the inside, Cavallo Bay, who's there on the outside. Now, Cavallo Bay is up to third, has to go toward the center of the course, still five lengths off the lead. Warlander still has six to make up. They turn for home. They've all got to catch Clock Tower, and here's Cavallo Bay, and Golden Afternoon now kicks in. Cavallo Bay, Golden Afternoon, Clock Tower fighting onto the inside. Warlander is still fourth. Cavallo Bay far outside. Clock Tower inside. Golden Afternoon between that pair. Golden Afternoon. Clock Tower. Here's Minaret Station for a huge upset. Minaret Station. 38 to 1. Rallying for Christian Torres. What a performance from Minaret Station to spring the massive upset in the Grade 2 Castle and Key Bourbon Stakes. He still has a lot of work to do and horses out in front of him that don't appear to be slowing down. It looks like as though it's between these three, but once he gets out behind the Godolphin runner, he flashes home. What a turn of foot from Minaret Station, the well-bred son of instilled regard out of that stakes-winning mare, Bo Recall for OXO Equine, picking up a stakes win here in the Castle and Key Bourbon. Unofficial results of Keeneland's 10th race, five Minaret Station first, eight Golden Afternoon second, 10 Clock Tower third, six Cavallo Bay was fourth, two Warlander finished fifth. Five, eight, 10, six, two, unofficial.